My name is Fran Sands. This is MyBoxingCoach.com. I'm going to demonstrate the stance and on guard position. If you're right handed, you'll lead with your left arm and your left leg. Vice versa if you're left handed. A right handed boxer is known as an orthodox boxer and a left handed boxer is a southpaw. I'm going to demonstrate in the orthodox position but it's quite easy for left-handed individuals to transpose this stance into the south pole position. You'll notice I've put a tape line on the floor. This is going to help us demonstrate the base from which we operate. If we stand with our feet together and with our right leg take a comfortable step back and with our left leg or our front leg pivot the top, the foot to 45 degrees to that line that's on the floor. So if you look now, you can see that the line goes from the toe on my front foot to the heel on my back foot. It's very important to maintain this line. This provides the base, the solid base, to allow us to move around and defend ourselves and throw shots at any given point in a contest. The next step of obtaining the stance is to bring the hands up and turn the palms slightly inwards. And you can see that has the action of bringing my elbows in to cover my rib area. You'll notice as also that my shoulders are pointed generally towards where my opponent would be. Bend the knees, come up on the toes, drop the chin into your chest and look through the eyebrows and that's it. That's the basics of the stance. Okay, I'll go through it once more and then I'll explain some of the common faults that creep in. So feet together, with your right leg, take a step back. With your left leg, pivot so that your 45 degree angle is to that line that's on the floor. And again you can see I'm maintaining the line from the toe on the front foot to the heel on the back foot. Hands up, palms in. Knees slightly bent and up on your toes on both feet. Chin down, look through the eyebrows. Now some of the common problems. Very often, boxers will turn so that the shoulders open out in front of the opponent. Now this is not good for two key reasons. Number one, I offer too much target to the opponent. While the opponent sees target, they have hope of landing shots. Secondly, when I come to throwing my backhand or my right hand or my power shot, I'm reducing the amount of leverage that I can get into the shot by having the shoulders open. So it's very important that our shoulders point. Secondly, often elbows come up involuntarily raised. Now, again, we leave key gaps in our defence to the ribs and the liver. Secondly, our legs sometimes go straight. This reduces mobility. It means that you can't move around the ring effectively and are therefore more easy to hit and less likely to land your own punches. And often the head relaxes and comes up. Now, if it comes up from the standing on guard position, when we arrive at the point of throwing shots, it'll come up even further, allowing the chin to be up out in the open, um, leaving yourself open to uh, attack. Okay, that's the stance and on guard position. I hope you've enjoyed this. Find more videos at myboxingcoach.com.